Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how to calculate earliest start time, earliest finish time, latest start time, latest finish time, and total free and independent floats in respect of all activities of the network. So this is useful for uh, civil engineering students who are uh, who are going to write the final year uh, semester exams. And this one is belongs to construction management subject. So this is the network diagram which is given and before going to know about this network diagram we need to know about uh, these circles are called events and these arrow marks are called activities okay for this we need to calculate all these values so before that i listed all this in a tabular form i'll show you so activity so activity is denoted by arrow mark so this uh, one to two is an activity so i wrote it as one to two and 1 to 3 is another activity 1 to 3 and 2 to 4 2 to 4 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 and duration was given that is for this activity completion of the activity it took 2 days and 2 to 4 it took 4 days and 4 to 5 it took 6 days like that 1 to 3 it took 3 days and 3 to 4 it took 5 days and 4 to 5 it took six days so like that i wrote all these durations and next i'm going to calculate est eft lst lft earliest start time earliest finish time latest start time and latest finish time before going to calculate this we need to use uh, forward and backward pass that is nothing but one to two and two to four and four to five that is a uh, forward pass and 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 is a forward pass and 5 to 4 uh, 4 to 2 and 2 to 1 it's a backward pass 5 to 4 4 to 3 and 3 to 1 is also a backward pass so first we are going to calculate EFT value so that is earliest event time nothing but earliest finish time and next one is latest finish time so first one is earliest uh, finish time that is for 1 to 2 activity so 1 to 2 activity we need to calculate the finish time so for completion of this activity it took 2 days so i wrote it, I wrote it as finish time is 2 days and for 1 to 3 so 1 to 3 activity is this one for this completion of this uh, activity is it took 3 days and next and next one is 2 to 4 so 2 to 4 2 to 4 is another activity it took how many days? 6 days. Why? Because before completion of 2 to 4, we need to complete 1 to 2 activity. Okay? For 2 to 4 activity, 1 to 2 is the preceding activity and this is succeeding activity. So, we need to add 2 plus 4. That is 6. So, I wrote it as 6 days. And next one is for 3 to 4. Here, 3 to 4. Before going to complete 3 to 4, we need to complete 1 to 3 activity. For that purpose, we need to add 3 plus 5, that is 8. Like that, 4 to 5. 4 to 5, we need to add all this. 3 plus 5 plus, sorry, 3 plus 5 plus, uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14. So that is earliest finish time. And next, after calculating this EFT, we need to subtract EFT minus duration, we will get EST. 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 3, 0, and 6 minus 4, 2, 8 minus 5, 3, and 14 minus 6, 8. After calculating this EFT, we are going to calculate LFT, that is latest finish time, which is backward pass. Now we are going to do the backward pass, that is here LFT value we need to calculate by using backward pass so here uh, first one is have you seen this uh, first one to two activity so one to two activity the finish time is this is one to two activity to complete this activity we we need to know the finish time that is it took four days that is nothing but eight minus four that is four here we are going backward pass in this junction we got the two values at this time we need to consider the maximum value that's why i consider eight value eight minus four that is four to complete the one to two activity 
it, uh, latest finish time is 4 4 and next 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 value is here so that is 8 minus 5 that is 3 to complete this uh, 1 2 3 uh, latest finish time is 8 minus 5 3 that is backward pass next one is 8 2 to 4 so 2 to 4 is here to complete uh, to complete this 2 to 4 we need to subtract 14 minus 6 that is 8 8 value and next one is 3 to 4 the 3 to 4 is also same 14 minus 6 that is 8 so 8 and next 4 to 5 so 4 to 5 is 14 so last one is 14 okay like that we are going to calculate lft after calculating this lft we need to subtract lft minus duration we will get the lst value that is 4 minus 2 2 and 3 minus 3 0 and 8 minus 4 4 and 8 minus 5 3 and 14 minus 6 8 after calculating all this in the question he asked about total free and independent floats that is nothing but ft that is total float that is lft minus eft or lst minus est we will get the total float lft minus eft lft is this one and eft is this one 4 minus 2 that is 2 and 3 minus 3 that is 0 and 8 minus 6 that is 2 and 8 minus 8 0 and 14 minus 14 0 like that we will calculate the total float after that free float we need to calculate that is succeeding activity of est minus eft okay the succeeding activity of the uh, est we need to know so that is what is the succeeding activity of the est est means earliest start time so earliest start time of the event that is 1 to 2 is 2 so 2 minus eft so eft is 2 so like that we will calculate uh, 2 minus 2 that is 0 and next one is 3 so the succeeding activity of this uh, EST is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0 and next one is succeeding activity of 2 to 4 is 4 and EFT is 6 6 minus 4 2 and after that succeeding activity of this uh, this one is 8 and 8 minus 8 is 0 and succeeding activity of 4 to 5 is 14 and 14 minus EFT 14 is 0 like that we are going to calculate the free float after that we are going to calculate independent float so independent float formula is lft minus lst minus duration so lft that is nothing but lft minus lst 4 minus 2 that is 2 2 minus 2 that is duration 0 and like that 3 minus 0 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0 like that i calculated all this i got zero values okay so this this is very simple problem in uh, um, critical path I mean uh, related to critical path method and it is uh, network diagrams so in construction management so uh, in the next video I am going to upload how to find out the critical path by using this network diagram I hope you understand this thank you so much thanks for watching